Throw three darts at the map. Toss in three wildly distinctive personalities, plus three great artsy craft projects, and you've got a craft show you just can't miss. We're hitting the road to check out crafters coast to coast. Hey everyone, I'm Angela Martinez. Welcome to Crafters Coast to Coast. We've been popping in on crafters all over the United States, and we've found creative talent just about everywhere. And you know, watching the creative process is just as much fun as checking out the end result. You'll know what we mean when we check in in Oregon with a mosaic artist whose process is absolutely smashing. Hi, I'm Laura Hesser in Cedar Mill, Oregon, right on the edge of Portland. Today I'm going to be making a mosaic coffee table. It's a beautiful table, but in order to make it I have to smash. Crash! Cut! Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Come here and let me show you how it's done. Welcome to my lab. You might see it as a garage, but this is where I work. What I have here is a coffee table with this lovely green marble insert. What I want to do is take the marble out and put one of my mosaics in. And I'm going to start with this plywood as a base. I'm going to cut a piece exactly the same size as the marble. All right, I've got the wood. Now it's time to make the design. I don't have a particular design that I want to do. I enjoy doing abstract things. I'm thinking I'm going to have these cutouts here, a background color, a ring, a swoop coming through the ring, like that. And an accent circle up here. Now that I have the design written in pencil on the board, I make the final design clear with a marker so I can see it when I put the tiles on. I've decided I want my circles to be exactly the same size as my duct tape. Before I bust up my entire tile collection, I want to decide what colors I'm going to be using. I think I'm going to try this gold in the ring and the blue on this swoop. Black as a background. This circle I'll make kind of a rose color with this creamy color. And this circle, the rose color again. And now, it's hammer time. So what I have to do now is a very precise operation. I have a theory that every piece of tile has a place that it wants to go. And it's just a matter of finding the right one for the right place. I have a very specialized piece of equipment here. I use tile adhesive and I just put it on there, scrape a little off, and press it into place. This is a relaxing thing. I kind of get into a zen mode of finding the exact piece. It's very comforting to make sure that this little tile has found where it should live the rest of its days. How much better does it get? And I keep filling them in until I get the whole thing done. Now that we have all of the tile pieces in place and we've allowed it to dry for at least a day, it's grout in time. Safety first, grout does not belong in your lungs. This grout is gray. Now I'm going to mix in some light blue. I'm going to use my wire whisk to blend the two colors together before I add the water. This keeps the colors even throughout the mix. Now it's time to add water. I'm going to use this stick to mix the grout. If you do this long enough, you'll get really big muscles. This is what it should look like. Now, we're going to scoop it out onto the tile. I covered the whole piece with these blobs of grout. It's not unlike putting cookie dough 
on a cookie sheet. And I'm going to use the grout float to squish the grout blobs into the cracks. I just push and work it around. I like the idea that this is a functional object. I like to see people putting their coffee cups on it, putting their feet on it. That's what coffee tables are for. Now that I have the grout squished in all of the little cracks, I scrape the grout off using the edge of the float to get off that excess. You can begin to see this haze from the grout that's left. The next thing that I need to do is wipe the piece with a damp sponge to get more of the excess off. I squeeze out as much of the water as I can. Start wiping. I like this process as I can see some of the tiles that were hidden before start to come out. Ideally, this should dry 24 hours. Right now, I'm doing a little final cleaning before the final buffing. Wiping off any little bits that are still stuck on the tile. So every tile shows clean. When I see the colors begin to show through, it makes me feel really happy that I've put my time into doing this. I got this coffee table at a garage sale for $5. And now, with some wood and some tile and an afternoon, I've got this original one-of-a-kind coffee table. I think this one turned out really nice. I'm really happy with the colors. I like the way the gold and the wood go together. I'm really, really happy with the final product. That's a keeper. You know, I've got an old table that could use some work. Maybe I need to get some tiles and get busy.